Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of React WooCommerce theme with REST API. In the previous episode, we learned about how to include the fonts with Tailwind CSS. And in this video, we're going to learn about how to add the typography. So all of the code will be available on the GitHub. So if you go to GitHub Imran H. Syed and then Next.js WooCommerce REST API, all of the code will be available here. However, I'm just going to walk you through because these are just basic information which uh, doesn't really need for me to type those codes. Otherwise, it'll take a really long time, but I'll just explain to you. So I've added a few of the things over here. First, starting with the brand colors. Now, it's always good to choose your colors and keep it consistent throughout the site. So you can choose it. For instance, in my case, I've chosen orange, platinum, black, uh, bright gray, gun smoke gray, royal blue. And when you want to use them, let's say you want to use it for text. So you use something like text, brand. Notice that we have added brand over here. So you need to prefix that as brand. Otherwise, you could have just written orange. But since uh, there could be a possibility that Tailwind has its own colors called orange, called orange. So it's better to prefix that with your brand. Okay. So like that. So that's how you can apply it for background. You can apply like BG brand orange. And similarly, you can apply it for the rest of them as well. Okay. Uh, to the elements. So that's your uh, colors. Font family we've already discussed in the previous episode. You have the font sizes. Some of the font sizes would already be available using the default fonts that are Tailwind, but I've just added for the sake of it because sometimes it's too time consuming to calculate in your head as to how many how many pixel a number is. Okay. So I've added that here, but again, you can add or remove basis your needs. And then you have spacing. So for now, I've just added some custom spacing. These are all cu custom configurations, which is on top of what already exists in Tailwind utilities. Then I have the min height. I have the line height as well. So for this, you need to use the class called leading. So for instance, you want to use 12 pixel of line height. So you'll say leading 12 pixels. You can also use it in number. It's all up to you the way you want to do it. Okay. So that's your line height. Then you have the letter spacing. So for this, you can use a class called tracking. So for this custom one, you'll copy this part and put that here. Okay, so if you want to apply a letter spacing of 0 0.5 pixels, that's how you'll apply to that element. Okay, and then you already know about the containers and things. All right, so that's that. Now coming back to our style. So I've created a folder called settings. This is where the typography goes. So I've created a base layer wherein these are the base styling that will be applied to these elements. So let's say my body background, I would like it to be white. So I put that. Uh, I would like my text to be uh, brand platinum black, which is my theme color. Text base, 16 pixels, overflow X hidden font lato. So it's going to be applied uh, globally. And then if you like H1 to have a different kind of a font, you can apply like that. So font lato heavy. And then you can also have a letter spacing for that. Similarly, you have some styling for paragraph, for list items. I've also added this dot before the list, list so you can use that as well. And then um, I have created this typography, which means in the mobile screen, I have put a standard text font size, uh, line height, and your margin. Okay, you can remove this margin, you can change them based on your requirements. I've just put it like a placeholder, you can change it according to your needs. Okay, uh, so that's your mobile. And that's what happens at the medium screen. Uh, so your font size and your line height changes. And then on the large screen, your font sizes and line height also changes. So these are all the uh, typography information here. Then inside of components, I've also created a class that you can apply sometimes. Some of the ULLI elements won't have dots. So you, you can add this class to an LI element and then it'll ensure it'll remove that, that dot. So let's say that you are creating menu items and in that menu item you have ULLI because that makes most sense to have semantic HTML, but uh, you don't want the dots. So you can use, apply this class and it'll take care of that. So we're creating this global classes, additional classes so that we can reuse them and we don't have to write the same styles every time. Okay, uh, I've added some styles for the footer. Like in the footer, we have the list items. 
like these items uh, if you remove so I've added that class in the footer uh, so I've added this style in the footer that please do not put a dot over here for these styling all right and then I've imported all of these files here so that's that's what happens for your typography all right so I hope you did like the video and uh, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already so consider joining the membership because uh, there are some videos that are going to be for members only and you're going to get a lot of perks for the members. So you can try it out what all options are there for the membership. Okay. Brilliant. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye bye.